beard lovers pack and that is the beard wax or the mooch wax as it is advertised if you guys can see yes um now there's one thing that i ran into while making the script for this video is that i already owned a beard wax or a mooch wax i already owned one and uh, when i got this package from happily unmarried they sent me some more mooch wax as well and uh, the difference between the two was one that i bought was manufactured in february 2016 and the one which they sent to me was um, august 2016 now while making the script of this video i realized one thing that there is a change in the ingredients list between the two products now this is not the case with all the uh, products not the beard softener not the beard oil or the beard wash it's specifically the case with the mooch wax so first what i'll do is i'll go ahead with the ingredients that are mentioned on the mooch wax that i have from uh, february 2016 it starts with uh, propylene glycol and now uh, propylene glycol is a synthetic uh, ingredient that is used in this but it's not bad it uh, it has a lot of functions when put into cosmetics like this and it is completely water soluble so no build up nothing of that sort so it's not harmful to you now the other one is monobat s53 and uh, about this ingredient i was not able to find a lot of information so if monobat s53 is the same as polysorbate 20 or tween 20 then it is a surfactant which is used in this now i don't uh, see the use of a surfactant in a mooch wax now uh, maybe some of you who have any information about this could clarify it in the comments down below. So moving on to the next one is Laviscol VA64W. Now this is a film forming agent and this is what uh, gives that hold or adhesiveness to your hair. Now it is not bad. It is water soluble. And one thing about this beard wax is that I really like the smell of this beard wax. It has a citrusy tinge to it and uh, this is one of the many beard products that I have from the Ustra lineup that I really really like the smell of. Now coming to the beard wax of the August batch and as you can see this is the beard wax that I have from the August batch and now over here the ingredients change. Now I don't know why the company would have change the ingredients list. The first line again has aqua, propylene, glycol and monobat S53. Uh, that is the same. What changes is Cellcot SC240C. Now Cellcot SC240C is a polymer and uh, this provides detangling effect and uh, ease of combing. When you apply this wax, you can still easily comb your beard now another one is Neospec MC and this like Monobat S53 I couldn't find a lot of information about so if some of you can find any information about this ingredient I would be thankful for that and uh, the other one is Biostyle XH450. Now this is an alternative that they've used to Laviscol VA64W. Now it has the same function as that ingredient and that is for film forming and adhesion to your hair. So that is the same. Then there's kaolin which is used and uh, kaolin is a very, it's basically a clay and uh, it is very very nourishing for your skin. So a very good and essential oils is the last one where it is mentioned on the ingredients list. Now, so what I can see from both of these uh, formulations is that they have not used a lot of harmful ingredients to just get away with the cheap uh, ingredient list that many other uh, manufacturers use. They've got a very solid ingredients list, very nourishing elements to this ingredient list and uh, the beard wax be it from the February edition or the August edition. On the whole, it's very, it, it, there's no difference to the texture or to the smell. There's no difference.